how to find the best dresses for your body shape. Hi, my name's Chi. Let's get right into it. If you have the apple shape like me, I know what you're thinking. Wait a second, Chi. No way. You don't have an apple shape. You're thin. Yes, you can be thin like myself, but you still can have the very typical apple features. That is, you always gain weight first on your stomach. You tend to have a protruding stomach. Apple shape doesn't have to be plus size. Most apples have rounded full breasts. That is one of your best features. You also have very slender legs. Yes, no matter how you gain weight, the apple always have slender legs. Those are your best assets you want to highlight with your dresses. Our biggest struggle is our waistline because we do not have a waist definition. So it's super critical that we need to find the dress that define our waist through the silhouette of your dress. Okay, here is the best dresses for the apple shape. Number one, empire waist dress. I know what you're thinking. You're probably thinking about something like this. No way, Chi, this is gonna make me look pregnant. That is not the kind of empire waist I am talking about. I am talking about a dress like this. It's called empire waist because the waistband is broad, but it does define your waist. No matter you're wearing empire waist or not, the key for your dress is to make sure the waistline is sitting higher than your stomach, like this. Because the dress flares out above your stomach, this can perfectly camouflage your tummy area. Wrap dresses are also very flattering for your body shape. Traditionally, wraps come with a belt. This is creating additional no bulge on your stomach, which is something you want to be very careful about. Instead, you can go with a wrap that doesn't have a belt like this one. It's more flattering because it doesn't have extra fabrics on your waist. Okay, here's a secret very few people are talking about. Peplum works wonders for the apple body shape. Whenever you wear a peplum dress, it creates ins and outs in your shape, and that is going to create the illusion of a waistline. On top of that, a lot of apple shaped ladies also have a flatter bum. So when you wear a peplum dress, this is gonna add additional fabrics to your hips, and that's what can make your bum look bigger and fuller. By the way, I just did another video on this topic. How to dress if you have a smaller bum. Make sure you watch this video as well. I will also link it down below. Ever since I discovered like petitedressing.com, my style went from this to this. I'm in the game, I was on the bench, on the bench, spinning on the back like here I go again. the pear body shape, you carry weight in your hips and your thighs. Your shoulders are narrow compared with your hips. For a lot of pear shaped ladies, your hips might be the widest part of your body. The pears are known for having a small waist, and a lot of you might even have killer abs. For the pears, your shoulders are narrow. The best dresses for the pear shape should balance out your narrow shoulders and your wider hips. So your neckline is extremely important. Go with a horizontal neckline, for example, off the shoulder neckline. Off the shoulder dresses creates the illusion of broader shoulders, and this creates a perfect balance with your wider hips. Now let's talk about your silhouette, so critical for the pair. The best dresses, they should be skimming your body without clinging. Fit and flare is a wonderful silhouette for you because it's fitted on top that highlights your small waist and it flares out under your waist without clinging to your body. A-line dresses work wonders for the pair. These are a close cousin to the fitter flare, but A-line dresses come in different lengths, especially the longer A-line dresses, like this maxi dress. This is super flattering on the pear shape because it drapes down from your hips. Body con silhouette like this, it's gonna completely cling to your body, and this is why it's gonna draw more attention to your hips your thighs. So you have to decide if this is what you're looking to achieve. If you do like to flaunt your curves and wear a tight dress like this, I highly recommend you go with off the shoulder neckline like Kim Kardashian in this dress. Even though she's a very typical pear-shaped body, with the wider neckline, it perfectly balances out her wider hips. All right, my darling, if you're the hourglass shape, your body is made for dresses. Looking good in a dress is way easier than looking good in casual outfits. 
Whenever hourglasses wear in jeans or pants, you always struggle with the gap being so much smaller than your hips. With a dress, all of that problem goes away. But you do need to make sure that you go with a dress that defines your waist. This is so critical. Stay away from any loosely fitted dresses like this. When I wear a dress like this, I am 34B, this looks like well, I have no shape. But when you wear a dress like this, you can look 10 pounds heavier than you actually are because hourglass, well, most hourglass have full bust. So when you wear a dress like this, it can look like a tent hanging down from your boobs. For the hourglass shape, you can wear drop shoulder dresses because these don't have a structured shoulders. You may feel more comfortable in the chest area. However, you do want to make sure they define your waist because otherwise, drop shoulder dresses add additional volume to your chest and this can make your boobs look even bigger. The best silhouettes for the hourglass. She's dresses, those go straight up and down and it fits narrowly to your body, perfectly balance out your curves. A-line dresses, fit on flare dresses. These fit closer to your body at the top and flares out at the bottom. Emphasizes your small waist without drawing too much attention to your curves. Wrap dresses, the most feminine dresses. A lot of you have mentioned in the comments to me that wrap dresses sometimes might have too much cleavage showing. I noticed that too, but mostly with wrap dresses that come with a belt. When I switch to a wrap dress that doesn't come with a belt like this one, the neckline is actually higher even though it is still a deep V neckline which is extremely flattering for women with fuller bust. But this does not have the problem of showing too much cleavage. Okay, my dirty. if you have the inverted triangle shape, you are known for your prominent shoulders and in comparison, your hips look more narrow. I have met many inverted triangle shape women in my life and a lot of them are my yoga instructors. For the inverted triangle shape, it's quite common that you do not have a defined waistline. Inverted triangle shape carries weight on your top half. A lot of inverted triangle shape not only has broad shoulders but also have full bust. So you can come across as top heavy. For you, it's critical your dresses should create volume at the bottom. To find the best dresses for your shape, neckline is critical, especially if your broad shoulders is making you self-conscious. Go with asymmetrical neckline, such as one shoulders. These work wonders on women with inverted triangle shape because it breaks up that broad shoulder line of yours. The best silhouettes for the inverted triangle are A-line and fit and flare. They actually flatter your body shape in two different ways. First, it creates the illusion of having a waistline, even though most inverted triangle shapes do not have a defined waist. And two, these create volume under your waist. So this is going to create an illusion of broader hips and this can balance out with your broad shoulders. You can wear spaghetti straps, but you do want to be careful if they're too thin. The thinner they are, the more they're going to emphasize your broad shoulders because of the sharp contrast. Go with broader straps and this is going to look more in harmony with your shoulders. If you have the rectangle shape, typically you do not have much curves. Your body goes straight up and down. You do not have a clear definition of your waistline. Most of the rectangle shape I know, they tend to look like a boyish figure, but I also know rectangle shape who do have full bust and can look quite feminine. The best dresses for the rectangle shape should create the illusion of a waist definition. Fit and flare is one of the best silhouettes for you. Fit and flare or A-line, both are wonderful options, but fit and flare has more exaggerated flare bottom. So for you, this is gonna create a more obvious waistline. A-line also works because it's fitted on top and it flares out under your waist. Any dress with a mermaid silhouette works fantastic on your body shape because this is extremely feminine. This emphasizes all the curves and also balance out your straight up and down body shape. And here's the thing, it's not just the mermaid dresses, it's any dress with a flounced hem. That's what you should be looking for because they're always gonna add extra curves to the shape of your dress and that's what makes your body look more than just straight up and down. Color blocking is also a wonderful strategy for your body shape. You can use different color combinations to create the contrasting and therefore create the illusion of curves and having a waistline. Peplum dresses also work wonders on your body because it creates ins and outs 
in your body and this is going to create an illusion of wider hips and also a smaller waist this is a perfect balance for your body shape now that you know the best dresses for your body shape do you know the best pants for your body shape yes it matters watch this video how to choose the best pants according to your body type it really can make a very big difference